Hi, this is Jim Colton from GraphPad. In this video, I will demonstrate some of the features of the entirely new estimation plot, as well as how to automatically display p-values, or stars, on a graph after an ANOVA in PRISM 9. First, let's see an example of the new estimation plot in PRISM 9. When you perform a t-test in PRISM 9, an estimation plot of the results will automatically be created. On this graph, the raw data from both groups will be plotted on the left y-axis, on the right y-axis, the difference of the group means will be plotted along with a 95% confidence interval. This display provides more information than a p-value alone, as the upper and lower confidence limits show how large and small the effect size could be. This effect size confidence interval is a more informative way of reporting the result of a t-test than a p-value alone. If the 95% confidence interval includes zero, as shown on the graph on the left, the p-value will be greater than 0.05. And if the 95% confidence interval does not include zero, as shown on the graph on the right, the p-value will be less than 0.05. Let's see an example with an unpaired t-test first. To get an estimation plot, the test needs to be parametric and can be with or without Welch's correction. On the left, we see the raw data plotted for control and treatment, while on the right, the 95% confidence interval for the mean difference is displayed. The confidence interval excludes zero, so the difference is significant. From the interval, we can be confident the treatment mean is at least 0.5 units above the control. Now let's look at a paired t-test. The test here also needs to be parametric to get an estimation plot. On the left, we again see the raw data plotted for control and treatment, while on the right, the 95% confidence interval for the mean difference is displayed. The confidence interval excludes zero, so the difference is significant. Note, with the paired t-test, the pairwise differences are plotted on the right side. Another way to show significance on a graph in PRISM 9 is with the all-new automated stars on graph feature. Simply perform an appropriate analysis with multiple comparisons and automatically add the results to a graph with a single click. Let's see how to create this graph in PRISM 9. Here we have data for a one-way ANOVA. Before adding stars to a graph, we first need to perform an ANOVA with multiple comparisons. I'll leave the default settings for the ANOVA and add multiple comparisons. Now, create any column graph, then go to the Draw toolbar and select Automatically Add Pairwise Comparisons. The graph now indicates the degree of statistical significance which corresponds to the number of stars shown for a comparison. In this example, we have four stars, which indicates the p-value is less than 0 0.0001, and NS stands for not significant. For customization options of these lines and stars, simply click the toolbar button again and choose Format Pairwise Comparisons. I'll choose to display p-values instead of stars. Here you can see the four stars were replaced by less than 0 0.0001, and the NS text items were replaced by the exact p-values, all of which were greater than 0 0.05. And note, if you make adjustments to the data or analysis, the results displayed on the graph will automatically update. To learn more about PRISM's latest features, visit our website at graphpad.com.